All right, y'all. So we are weighing in at 209.8 pounds. Things are going fantastic in regards to the weight loss. You know, we we trending down. Things are looking great. Feeling good. Um, feeling strong. We did a workout today. I got a little bit. Again, we were just at the crib. Um, but as you can see, the numbers have been sliding down since the OMAD, but switch switching to the 2080 weight loss diet plus the OMAD, man, I think is really, uh, it, you know, it, it's a good diet for me. I'm loving the way that I'm feeling and uh, it's easy for me to eat because I'm satisfied with the with the diet itself. I'm in kind of mid ketosis here, so feeling pretty good about it, feeling, uh, feeling like we're doing what we need to do. So this is what the workout was today. I did a bunch of carries and shoulders today too. I think because the load is less, I think I'm going to just do a little bit of each body part every day now uh, and, and do a little bit of a split. So today I did shoulders. Uh, I did some overhead presses with the 52 and a half pounds. I did some lateral raises, rear delt flies, um, just some various carries as well, walking around. Um, and then I did 45 minutes with the, the backpack. Man, I'm really liking this. And my treadmill is a little bit on an incline, this, like just a little bit. So it does make it more difficult. And yes, I know I wear uh, flip-flops on the treadmill but that's just how we do it you know what i'm saying that's just how we do it at the crib man i love flip-flops to be honest with y'all i would wear them the most over any other shoe it's just I, I don't know man it's just the way i be in the summertime i'm always rocking the flips you know what i'm saying anyways i'm really liking the rucking thing so i added some more weight i think we got 45 pounds in there now maybe 50 i can't i'm not sure but i added i added more weight in it and um uh, yeah, because the treadmill isn't great to, for me to be running on. It's just not super, super stable. So this has just been a, a really good way to uh, increase intensity and burn more calories. And, and I'm loving it. It's hard. It's intense, man. And today I was just sitting there. Again, I wasn't listening to any music or anything. I was just focused on breathing and really focused on breathing through my nose. That's a big thing. Just breathing through your nose while you're exercising drastically increases your cardiovascular but i'm not gonna get too into that it's just a new thing that i'm trying especially while i'm doing this rucking on the on the bag at this is the end of the workout i think i did 45 minutes 50 minutes on that thing i was exhausted it was a good workout and then we did a, a little bit of sauna yeah it was a a good day of training every day a shot of a whale so this right here is 250, 300, and sometimes if I fill it all the way to the top, close to 400 calories. So this right here is 250 itself um, of olive oil, one ounce. More love, more success. All right, this is tonight's dinner, nice and simple. We got some broccoli and cauliflower right here. This is like 50 calories, maybe. Then we got some chia seeds. Again, the chia seeds, I put them in water, and then I let them sit while I eat the rest of my meal, and I finish my meal with this, and uh, I put it in water, and then I add sodium and potassium and just drink it. It's about 100 calories. We got some dark chocolate here, 300 calories. Then we got some chicken with some like soy sauce, hot, hot buffalo sauce whatever it is um we got about 600 calories of that 90 um grams of protein now one thing i do then i'm gonna have some coconut oil or coconut milk 
Uh, this is my favorite thing to get the fats in. It's same thing with the oil. Um, the oil that we had at the beginning, the olive oil, about 300 calories, about 250, but then we're going to do some olive oil on top of this as well. But I was going to sh show you our cheat code. So with this, I'm going to have a, a bigger portion of coconut oil, probably about, you know, uh, I'll probably have a cup and a third. And um, it's going to be a lot of fat, very little carbs, very little protein. And then what I'll do is I'll crush up two packs of these sugar-free um, jellos in it. These are like four calories each. And so and that will be kind of like a dessert on top of that. I just put those into a bowl with a ton of coconut milk, and then I just eat that up, man. Super, super delicious. Again, don't eat it every day, but just in case I wanted something like that, that's I'm, I th I'm thinking I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it today. So anyways, all of that together, plus the shot of oil, we're looking at about 1,800 calories, 90 grams of protein. More love, more success.